Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Cobra Kai Theory. So, how did Terry Silver lose to Daniel? Now, in all other scenarios, especially when they fought one-on-one -on -one in Stingray's house, Daniel got his ass handed to him by Silver. So, what happened here? Well, we had a much more composed Daniel, we had a Daniel who was much more focused, and much more was at stake if he had lost this time. Not just his ego, but the fate of the valley, and the safety of his kids and his wife. So, I think what happened was, once Terry Silver realized that his members of his dojo were no longer going to play part of his game and were no longer supporting him, he lost all face. It was the same scenario with Chosen. I think there were too many extrinsic factors playing against him where he felt humiliated and he just couldn't fight to his best ability. I think if his students were still on his side and egging him on to beat Daniel, I think Silver would have been much more aggressive and much more in his zone. That being said, Daniel was much more composed and much more ready to fight at this time. However, what I really would have liked to have seen would be Johnny, Mike Barnes, and Daniel all fighting Terry Silver at the same time at his house. And once he takes them all out, then he fights Chosen, and then Chosen would beat him. I think that would have been more realistic because I see Chosen as more of the Mr. Miyagi figure of the story now. I think he has a lot to teach Daniel. I think he is closer to Miyagi-Do than Daniel was. And I think he lives and breathes Miyagi-Do a little more than Daniel. He's not so conflicted with, you know, warring corruption karate dojos of the valley. Plus, he always is teaching Daniel new things about Miyagi-Do, new techniques and new ways to beat his opponents and to beat his own fears. So perhaps with all of this new training that Daniel has received, it was this that was able to defeat Silver. However, at the end of the day, I still think that it's because of Silver's students and history repeating itself where they no longer wanted to be part of Cobra Kai and he didn't really have anything to fight for anymore. So I think that's why he lost to Daniel. Daniel. Otherwise, I just don't see it really being too realistic, especially after he gave him the ass whooping of his life the last time they met. So what will happen to Silver now? Well, that's the next video I'm going to make. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you liked the outcome with Daniel and Terry Silver. Do you think it was realistic? Do you think Silver really would have lost? Or are you all for it? Do you think Daniel was now ascended and ready to fight Terry Silver and to take him on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, remember, pain does not exist in this dojo, does it?